so he usually took a little off the top. He took some money for himself from Louisburg. Now, when the fortress uh, fell for the first time, Francois Bigot moved out of Louisburg and went to Quebec, which is another French fortress, to do the same job there. And again, he kept stealing from the government. He was stealing money and keeping it for himself. When Quebec fell in 1759, Francois Bigot became the scapegoat. So they blamed the fact that the French lost on Bigot and he was banished from France and all of her colonies. So he was not allowed back in the country. But all of that money he stole went somewhere and he had a lovely house that he didn't go back to. Now there are two places I recommend you guys go today. One is the King's Bastion and that's where I'll drop you off. And two is Francois Bigot's house. Now, I didn't go over some ground rules earlier. Most of you guys are older, so I figured you'd be pretty reasonable. But you can see the street is closed off. There's caution signs. It's not closed from the top. Please don't go down it anyway. Um, don't hop any fences or jump any ropes. If something's closed, it's closed for a reason. Um, to get to that house, you actually go further up this street and to the left, and I'll show you how to get there. We're going to actually go up the street and hopefully out of the way.